Hello everyone, we are here in Glendale, Arizona for the 2023 Pop Stroke Tour Series Glendale Championship. We got a star-studded field, let's get down to the action. Here's day one, Sean Tate, hole one. He's upset with that one because he went a little bit left. Sean knows this course like the back of his hand. Here's Spencer Edmonds, hole 17. Left it in the rough there. Here's Sean Tate, hole number eight. Most people are playing it off this little hill to the, to the left of the stairs there, and well done by Sean Tate. Here's Richard Lochner. Richard, part of the Swedish putting team, very famous for winning the high roller event at the MSOP years oh, ago. No, that's not a change. That's here's Sean Tate, noticing. hole 17, almost makes it. And and here's Adam Shanks. Adam is one of the top players from the East Coast. Has done a lot of the high roller stuff and almost makes it. A lot of players were doing that on this hole, hitting the, the hole on the way up. Here's Adam Shanks, par two, putt two, and he sinks it. Here's Matthias Haglove. Matthias, a top ten putter in the world. He's done a lot of things on the Pop Stroke Tour Series this year, and he's got this whole 13 going, and oh, nice putt from Matias there. Here's Sean Tate, hole number seven, and just doesn't give it enough. We move now into round two action. Here's Richard Lochner again. Players are trying to play it off that little hillside right there, and if you go a little far to the right, that's what can happen. Stop, stop, stop. Thank God this thing stops here. He's going to leave himself a tough third for bogey. Walks up with authority. He likes it. Oh, yes. Now here's Sean Tate. Hole number one, second round. Sean currently at minus nice. three. And oh yes, take it to minus Good four. Start. Nice putt for Sean Tate. And here's one of the best to ever do it, Rainy Statham. Rainy playing that right-hand side line. Went quite a bit through the sand trap there. The great putt and just misses. Rainy currently in the top five. I'll tap this in for an easy par. Let's go to Shannon Olson, hole 13. This is all downhill. Almost everybody is playing this back door line right here. You can see it come off the hill and then hopefully roll in. Shannon just misses there. This is a very popular spot for players to be in. Tougher putt than it looked like, especially under the pressure. Yeah, just went a little bit right on him, so tough bogey there for Shannon. And here's Alexander Molina, one of the best personalities in competitive putting. This guy is awesome. I got to play with him. It was a lot of fun. Here's Brock Gillespie. He's got this on a really good line. Get there. Oh, yes. Brock starting to climb up that leaderboard. Here's Chris Johnson. Hole 18. Definitely the toughest hole on the course. Really tough to get it to the hole here. Very nice putt for Chris there. He'll tap that in for par. And here was Chris on hole 17. Just caught a weird track around that backstop. And here's Rainy Statham again on hole one. Nice putt for Rainy. Here's Shannon Olson, hole 18. Right now. Get around that corner. Perfect line. He just didn't hit it hard enough, but that's exactly where you want to roll it into that hill. Here's Sean Tate taking a little bit of a different line, but this is still a very good putt. And now Sean Tate will tap this nice. in for a par. He's got a good tournament going. Here's Adam Shanks. Adam kind of sliced across the ball there, hit it in a perfect spot, and just didn't hit it. A little bit harder. That probably goes right in. So this is Adam now for par. Adam's got some really good rounds going today. Unfortunately, he misses that one. Here's Brock Gillespie, hole 18. A 
Hub, a tough little putt against the rough here. The crucial thing about this putt is to, to try to blade it. You don't want to have the putter catch into the rough, and he makes it. And they've added a couple players to the list. Here's Guillaume and Craig. A couple of late tournament entries there. Those are good guys. They're the guys that run the tournament. Here's the top 10 leaderboard. We got Matthew Kennis in the lead, tied with Jacob Stass and Adam Shanks. A lot of the top names are there. Let's go to round number three. This is the next morning. Here's Sean Tate, hole one. He's got this on a really nice line. Nice putt for Sean there. Here's Alexander Molina, hole one. And here's Lee Messenger. Lee, one of the top putters in the nation. This guy's won a lot of tournaments over the years. Here's Gunnar Bankstone. Gunnar, part of that Swedish team. Had a great win in Orlando earlier in the year. And here's Chris Johnson. Chris, one of the best competitive putters in the nation. And here's Tito Silverman. A lot of you might remember him from the MSOP and his big finish in 2019. And oh yes, nice. Tito's climbing up that leaderboard. Watch out for him today. Here's Robert Delosh. Robert always seems to find the top of the leaderboard in these tournaments. And here's Jeff McDonald. Jeff over hundreds of putting tournaments in his resume. And here's the legend Hans Olofsson, one of the best in the world, trying to play that whole front door. And here's Sean Tate. Most people are playing up that little hill Good. next to the stairs on this one, yes. and Sean rolls it in. Didn't see too many people making that one in the tournament. And here's Sean Tate there. behind hole number yeah. 10, and oh yes, what a putt. Woo. Now we go to Sean Tate, hole 13. He's got this on a really nice line. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come yes. On, yeah. And thank you once again to Sherry Tate, his wife, for taking all these videos. I was not able to get too many videos on this trip. So we're getting a little Sean Tate montage here. And a nice first round for Sean. Here's Rainy Statham, hole 18. Rainy in the top five still, trying to climb up that leaderboard. A par on 18 is always nice. And oh yes, he drains it. And here's Alexander Molina, one of the few left-handers in the field along with Robert Morris. And what a great putt for Alexander. He'll tap that in for par. Alexander, one of the more fiery competitors out there. And here's Lee Messenger. Now Brock Gillespie, hole 18, and he'll like that. Anything inside three feet on this hole is a good putt. And he'll have that for a six under round three. Now here's Lee Messenger again. Hole 18, Lee Messenger right now has the course record going. Now here's Lee Messenger. This is for a nine under, what a round. Shot the course record there. Nice tournament, Lee. <laughs> here's Jacob Stass. Nice putt for him. Good tournament once again. And here's Tito Silverman. Tito currently tied for second. He's got a great tournament going. And can he make this to stay tied for second? Oh, yes, he can. Beautiful putt by Tito. What a great showing for him. Now let's go to Adam Shanks. Oh, what a Adam planted it on that great line, but hits it a little too soft. 
And now he's got this putt, but he's got a two-stroke lead in the tournament, so this is just child's play. And, oh, putt. yes. Yeah. Folks, Adam putt. Shanks is our champion. What a performance. 23 under, and he gets some congratulations from Guillaume and Spence there. Let's look at this leaderboard. And, yeah, Adam Shanks, minus 23, takes it. Tito Silverman and Jacob Stass tied for second at minus 21. Go down to an interview with Brock Gillespie and Adam Shanks. Brock Gillespie here with Popstroke. We're here in Glendale, Arizona, the Popstroke Tour Series. Guys, you want to talk about one of the top putters in the Popstroke Tour Series, Adam Shanks. This guy has been grinding. He's been playing the high rollers. He's been, he's been knocking at the door, and finally he takes victory today. Adam, congratulations. You know, tell, tell me a little bit about the mindset going down the stretch. I mean, the leaderboard is the stack, the ball stacked, but you know, the, the top guys are up there. Tell me a little bit about your, your nerves at the end and controlling that and, and just continuing to go low. You know, I, I mean, truthfully, I told myself that I was not going to watch the leaderboard at all. Um, I didn't want to let other people's scores and play affect how I played. I was just going to try to shoot five or six every round and just let it happen how it happened. And, you know, I, I, I told myself that I need to look at it late kind of in the back nine just to make sure because I need to know whether I need to go for 16 or, or whatnot. And, uh, you know, I, I looked on number after 12 and I had a, I had a three shot lead at the time, but I know Tito had made the next hole. So I knew it was up two, and I was like, if I can just make two more, there's no way anybody's going to beat me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just really trying to calm my hands down and, and rock my shoulders. And, 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 you know, I was doing a drill with my arms to just let them relax down like this before I put. Yeah. And, you know, that really helped, and, and I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, amazing performance. I mean, I initially thought 17 under was going to win this tournament. I mean, you laughed that number. Tell me a little bit about playing with Tito Silverman. Uh, a lot of people on Popstroke don't know, but Tito Silverman was one of the top guys of the MSOP. No surprise, he, he's right there with you. Uh, was it a good kind of laddering effect having someone so good in the final group? Were you guys well, just kind of feeding each other? I wasn't with Tito. Tito played with, oh, my with Stas. That's oh, okay. Gotcha. But, you know, I You're was with Lee Messenger. I was with Lee. Lee, Lee played Messenger. an unbelievable turnaround. He shot nine under, which, yeah. you know, we tied the course record in round two. And then, you know, he shoots nine in round three. I mean, that was just unbelievable. I mean, it's out there, but yeah. you still got to make the putts. And, but Tito's a great dude, man. He, I knew him from a couple of, I think, it, I'm not sure if it's Orlando or, or Sarasota. I think it was Sarasota where, where, where we met. Um, but, you know, class guy. I mean, he was out here the other night. He wasn't even playing. He was just watching guys. And, you know, I never even thought about that, to, to go out here and just watch people play instead of sitting there practicing. Because you can watch a bunch of different lines that people play. And, you know, um, yeah, he was, he's a Well, he's congratulations, a man. Yeah. You, you took down the who's who of competitive fighting. Jacob Stas, <laughs> Lee Messenger. This Brady, guy right Brady, here. Brady Stadium, Hans Olsen, <laughs> and Brock Gillespie. You slayed all the dragons today. I tell you, man, I, I want to I wanna say, I wanna say one more thing. Yeah. I know Hans just walked up. But, yeah. And Rainey's, Rainey's video in this. I want to thank all you guys because you guys are so good. Y'all y'all are so well known. And, you know, I want to be able to come here and compete with you guys, especially Hans. I mean, he's won four events this year. And these guys make me better. And I hope now that I can maybe have an effect on somebody else to do the same way. Well, Adam, let me tell you something. Your name's on the list now, buddy. <laughs> Your name's on the list. Adam Thank Shanks, champion of the stroke play. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Congratulations. See you next Thank you. Thank you all for being here. What, what what we like about it, what Craig and I like, like about it, is that every time we get new players, and that's the purpose of this tour, is to bring the best player to every pop stroke facility, but to also onboard new player to start playing in this thing. Because this is fun, because this is competitive, and because we want to put, put down a great show. So, um, I want to thank everybody here at the course. You don't see that, but the general manager, the staff, they're here to welcome us. We're, we're taking like one course for two days. It's it's tremendous. So uh, every time we go to a pop stroke, uh, pop stroke facility, the staff is always welcoming, and I want to thank them. Um, yeah. Without further ado, I want you guys. I want a big round of applause for someone that shot 23 under. Woo! Woo! Go low time.
We had some conversation prior to this tournament. Some were, some people were saying four and there was going to be a good round. I mean, we got some amazing scores. But please, warm round of applause for Adam Shank. Adam! You the man. Who broke the course record, but then got beaten by Lee Messenger, <laughs> but still came out on top. So, big round of applause. We'd like to give you, first of all, this check, $3,000. Hello. Hello. Good job, man. And also, this first golden putter for Mr. Shank. Thank you. Yeah. Adam Shank. I have a good picture here. Let's come closer, come back. Uh, great. All good. Good job. It's been a cheer. It's here from our champion. Yeah. So, can I cash this? Yeah, you can. So, Adam, what do you think of the course? What do you think of your last round and how you ended yourself in the last round? I love the golf course. First of all, I, I want to repeat what you said. I want to thank everybody here. Thank you and Craig for all the hard work you guys do all the time. And thank you to all the players. Um, you guys push everybody to play better. Um, Peter, Rob, we hung out for a few days. You guys were awesome. Great friendship. Um, this whole putting community is such a great friendship all over the whole country. And, you know, I got off to a bad start on number two. I made a three. And, you know, I, I just kept telling myself there's plenty of, plenty of aces out there. And don't get in your own way. And, and I just, just kept, the, kept the foot on the gas and was able to pull it out. So, Congratulations, yeah. Dave.